But I was interested in the idea of talking about a guy who'd gotten out of prison, but I kind of want to wanted to avoid all the sort of cliches that you associate with that. So it took me a while to find Dom, but then once I did, once I started writing him, it was so strange, it just kind of came out. I was like, I could follow this guy anywhere. Literally, I could follow him to the laundromat. You know, he was that interesting to me, and I loved him so much. I mean, he's profane, and he's vulgar, and he shoots his mouth off, and he shoots himself in the foot, and he does everything right and everything wrong, and he's a mess. And th those are the type of characters I really dig writing. And he sort of came out pretty easily. There was sort of a Shakespearean type of feeling to Dom. I mean, he's sort of like this, this sort of pathetic, you know, uh, uh, a failure that is sort of big and larger than life, and Dom is larger than life. And so all of that language, and that's one of the reasons Jude, I think, fits so snugly into that role. It, it feels almost tailored to him, and, and, and because he kind of got that approach. To me, it was like, I want to make a, a crime movie in which there's no crime whatsoever. There is no heist in this movie. You know, hopefully it feels like a crime movie, but there's no crime in it. This is a movie about a man who's a mess, and that gives it the tension, because you really don't know what trouble he's going to get into. And that tension is actually, hopefully, even more tense than if it was like, we've got to rob this bank or whatever. And so we were sort of making an anti-crime movie. Yes, it's British, so you think it's a gangster picture, but it's not like that. It gives you some of the thrills and charm of those movies, but it is really a character study. Dom is a guy who, who got sent to jail because he refuses to rat on, on his accomplices, and he believes he's owed money from that 12 years for keeping quiet. And in a way, he thinks that that money will solve all of the pain of his being away for 12 years, which is he, you know, he, he, he lost being with his wife as she died of cancer. He lost the affection and love of his daughter. He lost an enormous amount of stuff by this sacrifice. But in his mind, it's all worth it if he gets the money. And the movie really is a story about a guy learning, really, uh, hopefully learning, though we're not quite sure if he learned, but hopefully learning that his priorities are really messed up and all of his actions that he took in his life, all those mistakes he made were self-inflicted.